suppose, but how much has that been an emphasis kind of during this extended practice time? Um, it's a big emphasis. Uh, we watch film and we see them open in the post a lot. Um, and he kind of told us, like, sometimes they're open and they're not on the post and we give them the ball, and then we miss them when they're blasting their man right underneath the basket. Um, so that's been a big emphasis because those, those are easy points, you know. We have two extremely talented big men, uh, three, I don't know if you want to consider Ev and everybody else, or Dell, you know, whoever you want to consider that's playing in the post, you know, extremely talented around the basket, and we miss them too many times on just like simple stuff, just, you know, not looking uh, when we're supposed to, or, you know, not ball faking and giving the ball in the post. So uh, it's been a huge emphasis because those are easy points that we need to capitalize on. I think early on, there's been some struggles as far as just post entry passes. Mm -hmm. Was that another emphasis this week as far as, all right, make sure you guys are in the right angles, right position to defeat them the ball? Um, yeah, that's just basic fundamentals of the game that, you know, we should, be able to do, but, uh, you know, playing against, you know, defenses and doing it in practice is completely different. Um, so it's just translating. And uh, the whole emphasis is, you know, just playing hard at all times because sometimes in practice when you don't have a defense on you, you kind of just, you know, just pass the ball in. And when you have a defense on you, you try to do the same thing. It doesn't work. So for the most part, it's just about, you know, being ready, um, whether the defense is on you or not, just always keeping a good habit of uh, learning how to, get the ball into the post because, like I said, they're open a lot of times and, and we miss them a pretty good amount. You mentioned prior to the season that you hadn't played with a good big guy before. Have you had to rewire yourself a little bit in that sense? Um, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. Um, I would, let me take back what I said. I have played with good big, big men before. I haven't played with one in a while, mm -hmm. um, especially at High Point because most of the time your big men are 6'7", six, 6'8", six, and they're not really mm -hmm. big men right right uh, they're more so wings right. um at that level uh so I, I have played with good big men and i know right. how to right. play with them it just has been a while maybe since like my senior year right. of high school that i actually played with a legitimate seven mm -hmm. foot six ten whatever center that can actually you know do it all right. um because for the most part what i've been brought to school to do was, you know, right. score the ball. And most of my big men have been, you know, outside right. the screen for you to score. I'm not really right. looking to score. So um, uh, I would just say, like, I, I don't think I had to rewire myself. I just think mm -hmm. it was going back on the emphasis of just being ready and understanding right. that, I like, he's available. And as, as many easy points as he gets and uh, as, as good as he is, it would make the game a lot easier for the guards especially myself, you know, who can score the ball because then I'll get open because they'll double team and you have kick out threes and, you know, it just open, it'll open up the lane the more that teams pay attention to him right. instead of focusing on the guards and, you know, what we can do because the ball is in our hands. So as long as we can make the plays uh, to get him the ball, um, then, you know, it opens it up and makes the game a lot easier. Right. Well, let me take back what I said. It was probably <laughs> – I probably misquoted you on playing with good big men. I meant no, more I, played on a team that yeah. played through its big men, maybe yeah. as much as this one is. Um, I was about to say, uh, yeah. last year, um, Tubby, his big emphasis was get it in the post okay. and and then play off the kickouts and stuff. And I didn't really understand it because our big men, our starting center was a walk-on. Um, and I didn't really get it at first because I'm like, you know, you have all these guards out here who score the ball, like why are we throwing it in the post? And um, like when you get in the game, you understand that the the better that the big men are, the easier the game it is for the guards because if they're scoring around the basket, it makes it a lot easy for us to get the shots we want because it just opens the game up because you know double teams and then you know from double teams you can drive, you get the, the kick out threes, you get your you know you get to play your game, do the things that you work on. And uh, I, like I said, I didn't really understand it until I got here and I actually played with legit centers and power forwards that are, you know, some of the best in the country. So I, I'm, I understand the whole concept of throwing it in the post because right. the more times they score, the more times they touch the ball, it makes the game a lot easier for us. So, um, yeah, I worked, uh, Coach Tubby, he was big on that. And we kind of fought it for a while. And. It, it really didn't work because it was a lot of tough shots for me and the other <laughs> wings on the team. Right, right. What have you learned from the summer to now as far as playing, knowing what Matt's strengths are, knowing what Trayvon's strengths are, and is, is that still an ongoing process? 
Oh uh, yeah, I think that's something that you just you learn more and more about your, your teammates uh, the more and more you play with them. Um, but when I first got here, I, I just learned how talented they were. You know, I mean, you hear about it and you kind of watch it, and I didn't necessarily know who they were. I mean, I knew who they were, but I didn't know their games. You know, playing with them is a completely different thing. Um, and now that, you know, I get to play with them all the time, you just, you understand how talented they are, because they're not just big men. You know, Matt and Trey can both um, dribble, they can both shoot. Um, Trey is very crafty with passing. Matt, he can knock down threes, he can be in pick and pop situations and all these different kind of things that you don't necessarily know when you first get here because you don't really trust it because I didn't really know them and I'm sure they didn't really trust me. Um, so now that you know, it's, it's a confidence thing. Like I know when I come off the screen and roll with Matt, I know he's either going to roll to the basket and I can throw it up to the rim or I know if he's picking and popping, I have the utmost confidence in him to, you know, shoot a three and, and I'm perfectly fine with it. It's no like kind of concern on what he does because he's extremely talented. He works on his game and you know, I think he's one of the best big men in the country. And the same with Trey. You know, Trey's a monster. He gets all these rebounds. And, you know, he scores at ease. And sometimes we have to tell him, like, stop passing the ball. Like, I want you to score. Um, I sound like Coach Payne talking about me. <laughs> but, um, uh, but, you know, just playing with, you know, extreme talented big men, you just learn all their strengths as you go, as, as well as their weaknesses. And you just try to put them in the best position to, you know, be as good as they can. And, you know, they're pretty good at putting themselves in those positions. It's just about, like I said, us, you know, giving them the ball and letting them do what they do best.